YouTubers. Today I'm going to be just talking about the drivetrain flush, basically all the all the gear oil that needs to be flushed on the uh, ML320 uh, from years 1998 to 2005, which has a transmission 722.6, which is a five-speed um, auto manual shift transmission. Um, I apologize for this drawing of mine, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can, um, so you can try to visualize where um, I'm coming from. So this is a picture of the truck uh, without the engine, without the transmission. Uh, here's the front of the truck, and here's the uh, the front two wheels, and obviously the back wheels and the rear of the truck. So the uh, front axle is connected to a differential, which is connected to a transfer case, which is connected to the rear differential as well, and the uh, the main transmission drivetrain that's coming in from the engine. So there are four areas that you should drain uh, even the mercedes says everything is uh well the transmission is you know set for life that's not true um so you should change it uh, at least at 120,000 miles you should change it so uh i will talk about going from front to the back uh as to what it is and uh what we need to change so in the front we have the uh, the differential and the front differential is uh, Mobile One Synthetic Gear Oil, LS75 to 85, um, is what's recommended, but you can go 75 to 90. And uh, the oil that I put in uh, looks like the, this. Um, well, this is the gear oil, uh, 75W90, and uh, let me just make this bigger, um, and it's uh, all synthetic. Let's go back to the other diagram. Okay, so that's for the front differential. Next is the transmission pan. The transmission pan is the one that is obviously part of the transmission, the five-speed transmission, which is the 7022.6 that I'm talking about. It's also known as NAG1, uh, which is next generation automatic gear, Gearatron or something like that. And uh, that one has a particular spec, Mercedes spec 236.10, when the transmission was created so you can actually put 20 uh, I'm sorry 236.14 but there's also 236.15 which is not recommended so uh, 236.14 came out when Mercedes came out with seven speed transmissions so it's backward compatible uh, you could use 236.14 in the 236.10 it's, it, it's not it's very difficult to find the 236.10 these days um, Note that the 236.15 is blue in color, so it's highly not recommended and it's not backward compatible. So we'll be using the 236.14 spec for the transmission fluid, for the actual transmission fluid. And that is the, um, let me show you what that one looks like. Well, I'm using uh, Pentacin ATF 134. There's also Shell 134. There is um, um, Titan 134 uh, as well. Um, but um, since this is made in Germany, um, I'm using this one. Going back to the other diagram. So that was the transmission pad. Then there's a transfer case. In the transfer case, you can put just about any oil that is Dexron 3. So I'm using the uh, Valvoline Max Life Dex Merc um, transmission fluid for that one here. That's an ATF fluid. So that one, there was no. They just said that anything that says Dexron 3 uh, is good enough for the transfer case. The important thing to keep in mind is the oil for the transmission pan uh, and the transmission gasket and the transmission filter. All that goes over here. And um, the transfer case is the one that says Dexron 3. And I'll show you the one that I'm using for that one. This is the uh, Max, Max Life Fully Synthetic ATF, Dex Merc, Mercon, whatever. It's listed here. This is Dexon 3 compatible. Um, all these are available at your local Walmart, Pep Boys, Amazon, with the exception of the Pen Pentacin. Uh, that had, I had to, I got that one from FCP Euro. Uh, now keep in mind that even though this Max Life on the back of it, I don't have the picture of the back of, of this. It says it's okay to use it on Nag One. It literally says Nag One on it, but it is not. Um, Mercedes spec 236.10 or 236.14 um, 
So Mercedes doesn't approve it, but it says NAG 1R. And uh, so, so that's what we'll use for the transfer case. And for the rear differential, we'll do the same as a front differential, which is the mobile synthetic gear oil. So those are the three different oils that we need to use and the four locations where you need to do a spill and fill. Um, each one of these, so the differential, there are two, two bolts. The lower bolt is for the drain. The upper bolt is for the filling. Same thing with the rear differential. Lower bolt is for the drain. Upper bolt is for the filling. I did a video of the rear differential. Here's a link to that video uh, for that one. And um, the transfer case is also a spill and fill. You, there's a lower drain bolt and an upper drain bolt. Uh, sorry, an upper fill bolt. The transmission pan it has a drain bolt, but it also requires you to drop the pan, put in the filter, and the uh, and the uh, and the gasket. So I'll be doing a video of of uh, all four. I already did a video of the rear differential. I'll be doing a video of the front one. I'll be doing a video of the transmission pan, and I'll also be doing a video of the transfer case. Uh, so this is the overview. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you don't like the video, let me know why you don't like it. Thanks.